Hallo. Hallo. Yes, sir. So today I am very happy. One of my student, Dr. Mukund Ambaude, he did his PhD under the guidance of again one of my student, Dr. G. R. Patari. So, and uh, he is eager to present his research work through our platform. And about 23 members are participating today, today attending today, to listen Mukund Ambauri. I am also, I, can, I want to appreciate Krishanjali for arranging such program every Sunday. Today's lecture is also recorded and it will be uploaded on YouTube so that it will be available in the future for, for all other research workers throughout India if they want to pursue their research in the same topic. So this is a good idea and good efforts by Krishanjali. I appreciate her efforts and wish all the best for this series. Thank you. Thank you much. Thank you, sir. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. <clears throat> I will do my best, sir. Before we start, I would like to give instruction for participants. Uh, if you have any questions during the presentation, please type them in your chat box and we'll have time for questions at the end. <clears throat> now, uh, I would like to introduce our speaker, Dr. Mukund Shridhar Ambavade, sir. He is assistant professor at Haribai Desai College, Pune. He has completed his PhD from Savitri Bai Pule Uni Savitri Bai Pule, Pune University. He has four years experience in research and six years experience in teaching. He has won Best Paper Presentation Award in Fifth International Conference on Environment and Ecology. He has published 17 research papers in national and international journals. Also, he has edited one book. He has participated in more than 50 international, national, and state level conferences, seminars, and workshops. So now I request Dr. M.S. Ambaude sir to start his presentation. Thank you, ma'am. Am I audible? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A very good afternoon to one and all present over here. Respected Dr. A.M. Deshmukh, sir, Chief Patron and President Microbial Society of India, Pushanjali Pagare Madam, Dr. Pushanjali Pagare Madam, mm -hmm. Organizing Secretary. And all my dear friends. I'm very happy to be here. And I'm very much thankful to organizing secretary as well as my guru, my sir, Dr. A. M. Deshmukh sir, and all team to organize this uh, event and given an opportunity to me to present some research in front of us. This is a very, uh, as to say, golden opportunity to all the researchers to improve themselves, to improve in research. And to share the, some few uh, few thoughts, some new ideas to others. Again, I am very much thankful to all the members 
to organize this wonderful and beautiful this event. Now I am sharing my slide and I am presenting here my research. Now my slide is visible. Yes, sir. So as far as my research concern, I have completed my PhD from Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University under the guidance of Dr. G. R. Bhattade sir. Again, I am thankful to my sir, my guide, my mentor, Dr. G. R. Bhattade sir. So as far as my research concern, so my topic of my PhD thesis, PhD uh, title, that is development of liquid liquid bioinoculant of endophytic nitrogen fixing bacteria from banana that is musa and its evaluation against microsterella medicola so as far as my uh title or my topic concern so this topic is a uh, generally uh very important or this concept is very common or very important to all the people or all over the world. So I have focus on the banana species or banana plant because It seems that there is some technical problem with Mukti. Hello. Yes. 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 Visible. So banana species or banana plant is uh, growing in a uh, number of places. So there are main two types or two main varieties that is Musa aquinata and Musa albibina, uh, albibina C. So Musa is a uh, one of uh, two or uh, three genera in the family Musa C. And this genus includes the flowering plant which producing is edible banana and plantain. So if you're talking on the uh, banana plant, so there are 70 species, 70 different kinds of species are uh, Musa are known uh, with a broad variety of uses. And as far as the uh, banana species or banana fruit, banana, pl banana plant concerned, so it has a very wide use, especially in, uh, in a regular food as a regular food or food and in a various companies then this plant is a uh, growing everywhere in any uh, different condition so that i have selected this part for uh, this uh, plant for for my research and i have collected data more than 25 farmers 25 farmers so what what kind of fertilizers they use what are the uh, side effects of pesticides what are the side effects of uh, chemical fertilizer and what kind of diseases appeared or found on the plant especially banana plant and i have collected overall data from a different places like uh, jalgaon then uh, Sangli, then uh, Satara. So, the place 
where uh, this plant growing in very high amount. So as far as my research concern, I have developed, I have prepared one bioinoculant from endophytic nitrogen fixing bacteria. And these bacteria isolated from banana, different parts of banana plant, that is root, stem, leaf, etc. And some promising isolate I have selected and from these we have uh, prepared one bioinoculant and then uh, we have seen the effect of that bioinoculant on actual plant that is health of plant as well as the yield of banana. What is meant by endophyte? So I think this concept of this uh, term, everybody knows, are well familiar with this endophyte. So microbes that colonize living internal tissue uh, tissues of plants without causing any immediate or old negative effect. That is some microorganism or those microorganisms which are living inside the tissue that is symbiotic association of that particular organism with a plant that is called as endocrine. Then what is mean by plant growth uh, promoters? So there are number of plant growth promoters or number of plant growth hormones are there, which are very essential to improve the health or actual the uh, growth of the plant. For example, endolacetic acid, zebralic acid, exan, ascorbic acid. So these are the some names of plant growth promoters. And what are the actual effects of that particular consortia or that particular organism to implement of plant growth promoter or to the growth of or to, to uh, the level of that particular or the concentration of that particular phytohormone right, uh, in the plant? And what are the importance? Again, these endophytes to kill the a disease which are generally found on the leaves of the banana plant. The name of that plant, that is a name of that disease, that is yellow cigatoka. The yellow cigatoka is a generally caused by the mycosterial species. So there are different kinds of mycosterial species. But I have selected this species that is Mycosterella musicella because the spread of that particular species is very high if compared to others. And the whole farm destroyed with this species, uh, with this pathogen that is phytopathogen or plant pathogen. So, yellow cigarette disease uh, is a spread throughout the world especially in india in a kerala in a maharashtra in different different states in india so i referred this uh, one paper uh, from the kenya and i got an idea about uh, this concept Lusikotaka is a very dangerous species uh, affected on the banana plant then liquid bioinoculant, so with the help of or by using a different or uh, promising isolates, those has, uh, which have a high efficiency to produce the endolacetic acid or phytohormones, nitrogen fixing capacity. So these organic these organisms I have collected and prepared to one bioinoculant that is liquid bioinoculant. So it is again very useful. It is alternative for the post lean organic fertilizers. It is economically convenient. It is eco-friendly and it is due to sustainable agriculture. So 
Now you can see here, this is the scenario, the major banana producing country in the world. So now you can see the India country where the productivity of banana, the metric term per hectare, you can see that is about zero. Now this is the again a state level banana producing uh, or a scenario in the India. So now you can see the Maharashtra 16.13, Gujarat 14. So these are the some states where uh, mostly banana uh, plants cultivate. So this is the district wise scenario of the banana producing production in the Maharashtra. So you compare the these uh, nine states. So Jalgaon is the district where a uh, very high amount of banana production is there. Now you can see. So how banana is important? What are the importance of banana? I think you all know. But it is a very uh, good fruit for fiber, for a digestion. It is again very important. With the help of banana, we can uh, produce or we can prepare uh, some other product like cheese, banana, puree, chance, etc. It has again very uh, important thing. It, it has a medicinal use, a wide medicinal use or good medicinal use. Excellent source of carbohydrates, vitamins B, potassium, phosphorus, calcium, and magnesium, etc. So it is helpful to the digestion. Then uh, this uh, fruit is uh, important as a remedy against the arthritis, high blood pressure, ulcer, gastrite, uh, gastroenteritis, and some kidney diseases. The fibers of banana are generally used for the, for the preparation of the bag, pots, and wall angles, rocks, good quality of the paper, etc. This is the scenario of the export of the banana from the India. So now you can see the uh, scenario of the export of the banana from the India uh, to, the, uh, to the world. These are the some variety wise cultivation of the banana state of the of uh, in India. So there are different kinds of local varieties also there. So grain nine, so grain nine or G nine, you can also see the uh, say the grain nine. So grain nine variety is uh, generally uh, growing or cultivated in all over there India. Then some uh, other that is uh, Ardhapuri is also uh, growing in some area. So these are the some red banana also uh, cultivated in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, etc. So these are the some local variety. Right? Now these are the some diseases generally found on the plant of banana. Uh, Panama wilt. Uh, positive agent of that uh, fusarium. Then you have focus on this. That is a uh, uh, yellow cigotoc. So yellow cigotoc is uh, caused by the microsterile musicola, and this is a uh, uh, very harmful uh, disease to the uh, banana. Now you can see the life cycle of uh, microsterile musicola. So this is the uh, it produces the spores, this conidia or endospo, uh, endospores, then uh, they affect the healthy plant, then spores germination is there, then penetration that is through the stomata, then chloralysis on the deep observed, then yellow spot, first yellow spot observed, and then fungus on the sporadia on the uh, leaf or all the leaf, and then this leaf uh, totally damaged with this. Uh, uh, the pathogen that is microsterile musical. Why this research important? So as I told you, the banana is a 
very important as a cash crop in India, especially in the Maharashtra. Then it required the nitrogenous fertilizers, that is uh, 1,000 uh, per kg per hectare. Then again, this uh, disease that the banana and decrease in the uh, area of and due to this yellow cigarette. And liquid bioinoculant is an important alternative for the uh, other chemical fertilizer, which is uh, very harmful to the plant as well as uh, to the soil. These are the my objective to isolate, characterize, and identify the mold isolate from the cigatoka disease banana plant parts and confirm the etiology of the cigatoka disease. Then to isolate and characterize the endophytic nitrogen fixing bacteria from the different genotypes of the mucus species. Then to study the phytohormones, that is endolacetic acid, zebralic acid, producing ability to the endophytic isolate. To study the nitrogen uh, thing, efficiency of promising endophytes, which produce the both that is endolacetic acid and desalic acid. To study the inhibitory activity of that is antagonistic activity of the particular uh, the micro. Then to develop the functions as a liquid bioinoculant from the formation nitrogen. the nitrogen more nitrogen fixation, then the hormone production and in the microscope. Then to study the efficiency of liquid bioinoculant banana plant growth, health, and love yellow cigarette of disease and uh, then re-isolation of bioinoculant mechanism from the experiment plant. So these uh, experiment we have done uh, both that is what as well as the farm are fielding. Have some materials and technology for use of the banana to keep samples. They are taken for this uh, So these are the some methodology. These are the very general methodology we have used. That is isolation of microscopic So for the isolation of uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is mold, we have used uh, different kinds of media like PDA, PDA, and those then genetically identification of microsporula by microsporula medicula by genetic identification the microscopic detection isolation of the then uh, some methodology used for the detection of the IIA Training is so done. Then, application of endolacetic acid and explanation of hydrolic acid, we have to use the HPN. Then, nitrogen activity for the nitrogen is activity, uh, we use the acetylene reduction tapes. That is the application to the auto reduction, it is into ethylene. Then, we can uh, detect. Gas chromatography by the how much of nitrogen is there produced by that from that particular then these are some. Then, uh, how to use of this uh, liquid bioinoculant? This is the procedure with uh, the liquid bioinoculant, 100 ml of liquid bioinoculant. 
So this is the actual procedure. Then uh, we are going to the result and So as far as the collection of uh, plant samples, we have collected plant samples from different places. Most of the district that is Sunday district, where I where where uh, banana plants generally cultivating. So as far as uh, this uh, collection or uh, material concern. So there are different kinds of or different varieties we have taken from Sangli and from Parvani. From Parvani, there are different kinds of uh, samples collected that is grain nine or uh, Ardhapuri, right? Then Chalna, Jelgao, Nasi. So these are the some genotypes you can see the Musa Acuminata and Musa Balgicina. So both kinds of or both uh, genotypic uh, plant I have taken for, for that particular study. And uh, uh, this, uh, you can see the Jelgao, so very uh, different or uh, number of varieties generally cultivating there, that is Primanti, Grand Nine, Mahalakshmi. The fifth belchi. So these are the some uh, common name, but uh, these genotypes you can see the Musa balbicina and Musa acuminata. So these two uh, important uh, genotypes or these two important species generally cultivated in a Delta district or some uh, other districts. So this is the uh, etiology of fungal isolate. You can see the colonies of fungal uh, isolate that is uh, Tigetoka. To get our practice, that is Mycosterella musicella, and these are uh, uh, fungal isolate, isolates. I have isolated from two different kinds of varieties, two different kinds of phenotype of banana that is Musa acuminata and Musa palgicina. So, some colonies you can see, and the uh, picture uh, after my PhD, uh, this picture showed. Uh, on a, on a national agriculture council Tamil Nadu and on the yes hello hello sir we are audible sir okay so uh, This picture recorded, or this is recorded uh, uh, on an Indian National Agriculture Council. Uh, and this picture uh, uh, taken, this uh, uh, organization on the uh, uh, first page. So, this is our uh, uh, new isolate and uh, very important isolate or very important uh, pathogen so that uh, this is again uh, research or this further research uh, somebody can uh, conduct or somebody can uh, so they, these are the two uh, varieties uh, that these are the two phenotypes uh, xenotypes and taken for the isolation of fungal isolate that is microsterella musical so these are the some characteristics of fungal isolate on 3D. So the colony that that uh, shape, color, margin, opacity. So these are the some general colony characteristics uh, I have written here. So then we'll elevation, porodochia, right? Porus porodochia present, conidia spores present, conidia present. So with the help of uh, wet mount, wet mounting, uh, you can see this. Uh, Morphological characterization of that particular. 
then uh, identification of yellow cicatoga uh, disease causing fungi that is microsterilon epithelium now you can see the KNS RR imaging sequencing and these uh, characterization uh, done from NCCS that is national center uh, national cell center from pune in uh, ncm so this uh, uh, pathogen i identify and confirm as a microsterile medicella belong to the family family of uh, microsterile then isolation and characterization of nitrogen fixing endophytic bacteria for the isolation and identification or characterization of nitrogen fixing endophytic bacteria i have taken these two phenotypes that is Musa acuminata and Musa balvisima uh, uh, that is uh, varieties different kind of variety of local variety that is G9 varieties is there. So there are about 101 nitrogen fixing bacterial isolates were isolated from uh, stave, root, leaves. Then as far as the morphological characteristics of that particular organism or that particular microorganism or endophytic bacteria, so there are 60 percent isolates, isolates, third gram negative, negative in nature, and 40 percent isolates, third gram positive. So these are the some photographs you can see, or plates you can see, and which indicates that these are the promising isolates. Or pure culture of the nitrogen fixing of that. For the isolation of these organisms, for the isolation of these organisms, uh, we have used the different kinds of uh, media. We generally use for the nitrogen fixing organism, growth of the nitrogen fixing organism. Then these are the some characteristics of uh, high promising endophytic bacterial isolates. You can see the B1, B1, B25, and B53, B76, B95. So these are the some uh, promising isolates uh, which showed the high productivity, right? Then high efficiency, uh, then uh, uh, high amount of uh, antagonistic activity against the microsterial and these are the some uh, characteristics. Of, this is a general character with correlation, gastrocemia, and motility. So for the gram positive organism, uh, you have a certain correlation. Uh, Spore staining and forty gram negative capsule staining also there. Now, with the help of uh, high to harm box, so you have, uh, you have screen uh, some bacteria from the uh, source. So from 101 isolates there are about 44 isolates showed the high amount or high high, pro, high product production of the endol acetic acid ia and 93 isolates showed the ga production ability with tryptophan in the matrix tryptophan used as our yellow tryptophan used as a precursor now you can see this is a TLC that is a, a, a thin layer chromatography and you can see the spot. If this is the plate which shows the uh, endol acetic acid and uh, endol acetic acid generally this is the plate of endol acetic acid. Then estimation of endol acetic acid on spectrophotometry. So as far as the graph uh, or, uh, this uh, endol acetic acid concern. Now you can see the B1, B25, B53, B53, 
76 can be 95. Out of this five isolate, out of this five promising isolate, these three isolate that is B1, B53, and B95 isolate showed the high amount of endol acetic acid production capacity. In without L tryptophan at 30 minutes, without L tryptophan at 120 minutes, 0.1% L tryptophan at 30 minutes, and 0.1% L tryptophan at 120 minutes. So after 30 minutes and after 120 minutes intervals, I have taken the sum reading on a spectrophotometer. And this is the result of endol, endol acetic acid producing organism. And based on this data, we have taken, I have taken these are uh, isolate that is promising isolate B1, B53, uh, and B95. But these four, these five organisms, these five microorganisms, these five endophytic organism can produce or can capable now next that is estimation of ga on spectrophotometer ga means uh, zebralic acid this is again a uh, good uh, phytohormone which is used to growth of uh, plant and now you can see here the b1 B53 and B92, 95 showed the uh, high GA uh, production uh, capacity. Now, for the more accuracy, we have used uh, this advanced technology that is HPLC, high pressure liquid chromatography. For the estimation of endol acetic acid, which is produced by the promising isolate that is B1. B25, B53, B76, and B90. Now you can see here again L tryptophan that is without L tryptophan in the medium and with L tryptophan in the medium. And now you can see here the B1, B53, and B95 showed the high uh, productivity of that. Uh, uh, Hormone that is endol acetic acid. The same as you can see the estimation of uh, GA that is uh, zebralic acid. This is the graph. You can see the estimation of nitrogen activity of promising endophytic tractile isolate. For the study of these uh, activity, I have used the uh, uh, methodology or assay that is ARA that is acetylene reductive assay and this test uh, for this test uh, use gas chromatography right gas chromatography with the FID that is flame ionization detector used here for the detection of nitrogen activity or nitrogen uh, nitrogen activity which is uh, produced by the uh, promising endophytic isolate. Now you can see the B1, B53, and B95 shows the high amount of nitrogen packing. Now, antagonistic activity a study of the five uh, promising endophytic vector isolate again, the microscale and So these, these are the some, uh, uh, again, endophytes or promising endophytes used for the antagonistic activity against microcerella mesocella. And now you can see the diameter, right? diameter or zone of inhibition, right? diameter of zone of inhibition by well diffusion method. And uh, uh, you can see here the B1, that is uh, uh, 27 mm zone of inhibition. Uh, so then B53 and B95. So these three isolate showed the maximum, maximum antagonistic activity. 
now practically we can see then is it for understanding now these are the some slides you can see the zone of inhibition now so with the help of uh, biochemical test or biochemical characterization uh, these three or uh, these five organisms identify at a basic level b1 is a azosterile b25 the stenotrophus uh, stenotrophomonas species b53 acromobacter and these uh, uh, 50 uh, 76 and 95 these are the gram positive in nature that's some bacillus species now genetically identification of promising uh, endophytic bacterial isolate isolates from the banana so for the uh, genetic identification uh, use the 16s rna sequencing uh, that is full length and partial sequencing is there so these out of these five organisms out of these five isolates these uh, three isolates characterize uh, genetically identified with the full length and uh, these are the some names of organism that is azosterilum uh, lipiferous lipiferum then uh, stenotrophomonas maltophili acromobacter uh, xyloxidin then bacillus siamensis uh, and uh, bacillus amylolipitans so these are the some organisms which shows or these are the some endophytic bacteria which shows the uh, high efficiency the high amount of uh, nitrogen is activity high amount of uh, hydrohormones production as well as the it has a good or it has the best antagonistic activity against the mycosterial mutation then the for the development of consortia or development of mixture firstly uh you have conducted one experiment that is the growth curve right growth curve of these three organisms and based on the growth characterizes or growth curve of that particular uh endophytic organism and again based on the compatibility of compatibility test of these three organisms and once the they these or these three endophytes compatible to each other then uh we have prepared this uh, consortia or uh, uh, develop the liquid bioinoculum for the further use so as far as the development of consortia 10 to 12 cell i have taken from this uh, every every isolate that is b1 b53 and b95 and these are the some you can see the total of cell for any now packaging preservation and cell class studies of uh, lipid uh, consortia that is liquid bioinoculum so one ml of each isolate substration that is equal cell number that is uh, 10 raised to 12 cell each isolate was mixed in the 0.1 percent sterile glucose broth now this is this, this are the some uh, bottle or sample bottles uh you have prepared uh, for the uh, liquid bioinoculum Now, as far as the cell life study of liquid bioinoculum concerned, uh, these uh, cell life studies conducted there are about twelve months, right? And uh, with the help of this observation, you can see the eight month, eight months. You can see here the one point one into ten to eleven say. So after the five months, the cell number has been decreased. Now you can see here. And 
then we have concluded here the safe life of that particular consortia is eight months right because the after eight months the cell number will decay now what are the effect of uh, that particular organism or that particular consortia on the uh, on the plant actually plant. so this experiment uh, we have taken on both sides that is the uh, pot experiment as well as the field experiment the variety uh, for first that is uh, musa accumulator so i have used these variety first or my both variety i have uh, used for the uh, experiment in the pot study or uh, field study so as per as this uh, pot experiment concerned so these are the three plants or three different kinds of uh, pots right three three plant pot i have taken so healthy control that is uninoculated that is uh, uninoculated means uh, control plant is there control three plants i have taken and then disease plant or disease already disease are fed on the, that particular plant such plants also uh, i have taken and then health a test or healthy inoculated healthy inoculated with the pathogen and you know inoculant so these is uh, these uh, pots uh, i have taken and these are the some result we can see the if you uh, talking on the control the height of the banana plant uh, month wise you can see month 1 2 and 3 the height of that particular plant increase and you can see the difference between the control and uh, actual inoculated uh, or after the inoculation of the bioinoculant or after the spraying of the bioinoculant on the plant and also the control of yellow cigoteca that is the uh, this that is this is in inoculated with the bioinoculant this uh, uh, plant you can see here the picture you can see here so the effect of uh, liquid bioinoculant on musa accumulator so this is the first variety you can see a that is a control so you can see this these are the three plants uh, as a control then b that is a disease plant and c that is a test plant so you can see the difference between that particular plant if you compare it with the control disease and test so after using after use of that bioinoculant that is consortia of the endophytic organism now you can see the change in the growth or health of that uh, particular plant also you can see the uh, the disease right so where here the disease is not observed when the spots are not observed on the uh, leaves and also you can see the height of that uh, banana plant now this is again second variety we have taken so effect of uh, liquid bioinoculant on the musa valdicina and these are the some effect you can see after the spring of uh, uh, bioinoculant or liquid bioinoculant to the banana plant and this is the farm level study so one farm that is the sample form is there and for uh, that, that farmer uh, you know just uh, given one bottle and just one or two or some uh, plants uh, on some plants we have sprayed uh, these uh, bioinoculant and just take the uh, effect on their growth on their health as well as the productivity right so this is the representative sample of farmers responses 
you can see here. So there are two genotypes we have taken here. That is the Musa accumulator and the Musa balbicinum. So this is the these are the three sets of repeat. That is control A, B, C, D, and S, G. Now the height of banana plant and number of leaves we have counted, and then the prevalence of cigatoka, that is uh, cigatoka disease observed or not observed. So with the uh, difference of that three sets, you can see here. So 95% disease decreased if you are applying these bioinoculant on the plant. And the weight of one banana bunch, that is, you can see here, the again increase. And obviously, the total productivity per hectare uh, has been increased after application of the uh, liquid fiber. Again, you can see the uh, same picture that is uh, on uh, Musa Akimen, uh, Musa Balbisina. So, again, 97% this uh, uh, yellow cigarette this is decrease uh, in that particular form. Ah. Now the questionnaires and responses of uh, farmers. So there are about more than uh, 25 farmers uh, referred. And uh, you can see here the productivity and the responses. So uh, the farmers from different area uh, from the Maharashtra, so these are the uh, two different genotypes used. So one hectare at the area and the productivity you can see here. And they, they use the different kinds of fertilizers, like chemical fertilizers as well as some biological fertilizers uh, they can use. And what kind of uh, disease or what kind of uh, Pathogens or what kind of uh, uh, disease diseases observed on on a on on a plant you can see and what kind of pesticide they use that is a uh, ecatech uh, force right so these are the some then methanium uh, uh, forty uh, forty five so these are the some pesticides and it has a, a very harmful effect. Found on a plant, oral plant. Then uh, reisolation of bioinoculant organism from the experimental uh, pot. These are the some uh, pot and farm experiment. Then these are the some conclusions. So with this uh, data, uh, statistically I have proved. Then. Uh, Banana endophytic bacteria possess the potential of plant and yield, providing their excellent and Banana endophytic bacteria possess the chemical plants. Now, I think uh, you also think. From these uh, chemical fertilizers in the armor and the farm, armor regularly using the tremendous amount of chemical and the hazards that are to the actual plant on the soil and the and the number of cases and from the water here from the uh, soil. So banana bacterial isolate possess a good inhibitory activity that is good and antagonistic activity against the cause of this is very hard dangerous so in the present study it could be highly conducted that the liquid bioinoculant 
prepared here and overall biomedical approach you here highly useful to you both quality and safety of production as well as the potential to control yellow sequoia disease in the Indian part. So it is also one of the alternative to reduce the use of plastic or any fertilizer and for economical convenience, eco-friendly and sustainable agriculture. Uh, these are the some bibliographies you can see. We have cited or referred some books, some papers. So more than five hundred papers I have referred. And the uh, sites that is valuable insight on topic development of liquid bioinoculant of endophytic nitrogen fixing bacteria from banana and its evaluation against mycosperilla musicola the meeting is now open for a question answers participants having any question or doubt they may type in chat box Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, I need to ask one question. When you isolate endophytes from the plants and yes. identified, identified them and they are found with the already reported species. So those isolates were naturally present in soil also, they pro produce also endolacetic acid or other compounds. So what kind of antimicrobial compound they produced? Have you checked it? No, sir. A specific antimicrobial compound I, I, I could not pick. So on what basis we can say they have antimicrobial compounds? Or the no, antibiotic activity? Uh, not. Uh, I uh, cannot say here the antimicrobial compound. I just take the efficiency of antimicrobial activity. So they can efficient for control such disease. But when they live. There is there is some difficulty to. Sir, we'll go for a next question. Yeah. Uh, the question is from uh, Sweta Vallabhneni. Uh, she wants to know uh, method used for isolation. Method uh, the glucose concentration uh, media glucose media generally used, uh, and uh, I think uh, in a MSC practical 
MSc practical, uh, uh, this method is also introduced. That is uh, some inorganic compound or glucose concentration you can use. But uh, generally, uh, uh, you can she use wants... the... Hello? Sir, she wants to know uh, whether it was leaf extract or leaf washing, the method. Okay, extract, extract. You can, you can use the leaf extract. Leaf extract, okay. uh, root extract, right? Okay. You can directly use the extract for the okay, screening of the organism. Okay, sir. Next question is uh, from Priyanshi Patel. Uh, she wants to know, uh, did you got any rhizobial species? No. Okay. Another question is from Shivangi Dhaveri. Uh, any reference for a liquid or uh, biofertilizers formulation? Reference? Hmm. Any reference for liquid? Creation of or... liquid formulation. Uh, yes, liquid sir. to bionaglin. In the methodology, uh, I have showed. Uh, she want to know the method preparation of bionoclon okay first you have to uh, check the growth curve first you have to check the growth of uh, growth curve of uh, promising isolate and then check the compatibility compatibility testing and count the colonies right count the colonies on the plate right and then you can prepare the bioinoculant with a uh, same number that is uh, if, uh, 10 raised to uh, 12 say 10 raised to eight. but the optimum number is uh, 10, 10 raised to 8 say 10 raised to 8 say in per unit so you can take the cell number otherwise you can just uh, uh, observe right the Optical density. Yes. Sir, she wants to know the organism is isolated, then how it can be converted into fertilizer form. Uh, she want to know what we have to use. Yes, you can prepare normally uh, uh, in one percent glucose broth and uh, add uh, the same number or equal number of uh, cell in that, and then you directly you can use. Okay, thank you, sir. And uh, the another question is from Doctor Shabana Asis, ma'am. Uh, uh, she wants to know, sir, since you have isolated endophytic yen fixing bacteria, have you studied the yen uptake of inoculated plant? Yen uptake of no. There means uh, how much uh, uh, nitrogen uptake by that particular plant. No, this is not uh, your thing, but this is again very important. So somebody can check this. Uh, uh, how much nitrogen uh, uptake of that particular part? Yeah, very but, uh, actually, if you are not studying that particular thing, how can you say that your bacterium is sufficient in that particular plant? That is by inoculating your plant. How will you say uh, that is simply by comparing control and test? You know, uh, if you are not uh, get giving the nitrogen uptake of that particular inoculant, how will you uh, confirm? that the growth efficiency and all those things are by the inoculants. With reference to just the, uh, with reference to their health, right, the productivity, just I'm uh, concluded here, yes, uh, these bacteria are already, uh, I have checked the efficiency, right, I have checked the efficiency of that particular bacteria which produce or uh, which, uh, uh, fix the nitrogen or nitrogen fixing capability 
so that these organism only these organism i have used for the preparation of uh, liquid bile okay on which media you have isolated nitrogen bacteria normal uh, there are a number of media but uh, one media actually i was asking about your media a uh, nitrogen fixing media is there i have reference there nitrogen ah, fixing fine. nitrogen uh, fixing media is there Ah, which one you have used for the isolation of acid pyrillum? And how can you say that basal amylo liquefaction is nitrogen fixing? So, There's some reasons, no? There are uh, there are the three methods used. One is the normal method. Generally, uh, I think in a MSA practical also some nitrogen fixing it grow on a plate. So that's why I'm asking about the particular medium you have used for your isolation. Nitrogen fixing medium. Name of that nitrogen fixing medium. You know name for that media? N N N F B media. Have you used any indicator? Uh, citrus is there. Hmm? There are one one um, uh, chemical or it biotin or uh, something is there. I, I don't know this name. Hmm. So I will actually uh, one more uh, doubt I have sir uh, you have uh, I estimated the IA production at uh, 30 minutes 120 minutes like that and how what was the optimum uh, time of incubation or uh, the particular logarithmic phase of that particular bacteria why you have selected 30 minutes and 130 minutes what was the uh, I have referred the sulfur vaccine method no, sulfur vaccine is generally used for the detection of the uh, and all acetic acid after the color change that is the pink color pink color uh, actually right? selection of yes hello hi sir i'm audible yeah okay uh, any questions from participant but it's 30 hello uh, madam, uh, it's out of problem. Okay, sir, we have done with question. Okay, if you have uh, uh, any question, then uh, you can ask me anytime. Sir, you share your uh, email ID. Uh, uh, if participants any having questions about uh, on this topic, uh, they will personally contact you, sir. Yeah, personally. You can, madam, share my number also. Okay, sir, you, you may send it in chat box immediately, sir. Uh, Your mail ID and uh, contact number. Just I am sharing my email. Hmm? Okay, sir. No problem. Uh, madam, mm -hmm. can you please write yes, ambaude2014 at gmail.com? Okay, sir. Ambaude2014 at the rate gmail.com. Sir, you may check your uh, spelling. 
A M B A W A D E. W A M B A W A D E. Uh, 2014. At the rate of email. Okay, sir. A is the cap. Uh, A is smaller. First. Okay, sir. No problem. No problem. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. We have done with our uh, question answers. Uh, if anyone having questions or doubt, they may ask to sir personally. Uh, he has shared.